Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ants, playing some more Empires of the Undergrowth today. Empires of the Undergrowth today. The fantastic little ant sim style game we've got going on at the moment. So we're all ants are relatively busy, but they're basically busy milling around a bit, aren't they? Really? We've got some food coming in. How much food is there? There's a fair bit of food down there. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do Formicarium Challenge 2. But before we do Formicarium Challenge 2, we need to get some more ants together. So we definitely need some more of these, don't don't we so let's make another chamber for these if we do a chamber there so do food up there food along there this side are the the red ones are the red ones the melee ones or the range ones they're the melee ones aren't they the nurse little hard to tell pretty sure the wood ants are the the, the ranged ones so we'll make some more of these. And there is lots of food up there. I say lots, lots is a possibly an exaggeration. There's a fair bit. I'm going to want to keep some in stock for when everything goes horrendously wrong, obviously. Obviously. Uh, the twos we can send up there just to grab that little bit of food that's there. There's no animals walking around that we can harvest as well. Oh, the threes will send down there to get that one little bit of food there. And then the ones will put the marker all the way down there, so they're going all the way down there. Perfect, right. So they're all grown. Let's move those over there. And then let's make another chamber. I know the food stores are full. I'm working on that as we speak. Perfect. And then if we get the upgrade hammer out, let's do a whole range of upgrading. Oh, we could do some food. Does it only cost five to do, doesn't it? So let's do that. And then let's go through and upgrade any of these that we can. We've not purchased the upgrades, so we can't do those anymore. So we can do the workers a little bit. And we can definitely do all of these ones, look. Beautiful. Let's wait for all those to get done, see where that leaves us. Running a little low on food now. We are going to want to keep some in stock for whatever is about to come for the challenge. See, I wish I'd planned this a bit better because these ones are a bit higgledy pickledy. And then over here, you've got these lovely little, lovely little setup ones. What I'd like to do, really, I think at some point, is we'll delete that one there. We'll make two groups of whatever that works out to be 15. fact yeah let's do that now let's go oh, I can't get rid of that can't get rid of that because something waiting to happen maybe okay well it doesn't matter we should leave that as is then so we have 26 of these and we have 29 no yeah yeah 29 of those took a while to figure that out but we got there Plus we've got 22 workers as well. It's not too bad, is it? So we'll just wait for these. To, oh, I was going to say we should finish doing the stores, but uh, if we just send all of them down there, because there's nothing else around now, is there? Finish harvesting all that in. Which they've done en masse, okay. And then let's bring everyone in, shall we? Is that side which one of these was which? The wood ant are the range for sure, aren't we? So the wood ants can come back here, the range there, and the ones a little bit further back is the last line of defense. That's the plan there. So we have 1,300 food. Oh, just a bit of food just left there. Someone gonna pick that up? No? 
Lazy is what they are, lazy. Is there anything else we can upgrade? Maybe a couple, do we want to upgrade? Why not? Why not? Can't do that even, can't do those. All right, so we'll wait for those couple of upgrades to finish, perfect. And then we shall stick a save in. Because I don't know what happens if you fail. That hasn't really been tested yet. No royal jelly to spend, so let's go for it. Let's see what happens. The colony seems to have made significant progress. Perhaps it is time we began phase two of the trial. Phase two. I will prepare the feeder colonies. I'm concerned that we've only got a thousand food, whether that's going to be enough or not. Let's ease them in with a familiar disturbance. Introduce 20 Formica Fusca ants. The Fusca colony is attached, and the ants are on their way. Here they come. I'm going to fight them on my home turf rather than facing them outside, I think. We can bottleneck them then, can't we? bring everyone up here. On mass, people, on mass. I see they have so it only cost us around 30 food. That's not bad. Let's try the Formica Rufa ants. Let's try the Rufa bringing them outside. Our erectors will need to put up a strong defense. Adding 20 Rufa ants. Look at them all. Look at them all. Get close, get close. Okay. Once again, our raptors have neutralized the threat to their queen. The ones can go up here, start getting some of this food. Before, but don't push the colony too hard. Of course not. Oh, this this guy. Irresponsible. This guy. Clowning around. Introducing 40 roofer ants. 40 roofer ants. Pop them all right there. I'll put that marker there so as soon as they're done they'll all move up to the melee ones that is. Yeah, that worked out quite well. So we've kept ourselves above a thousand, that's worked out okay. No more seeds? No more seeds this time. Increasing to 50 Rufa Ants. We're all coming from this direction again. And down to I have 84. I've got more than that. No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm a liar. It's okay. Don't worry about it. No, I do. Ignore those seven. 60, 69, 70, oh no I don't, no 77 I've got outside, yeah, that makes sense. Just in case we bring the workers up as well, we should be okay. Good, good. Where are the seeds that it dropped? Anyone see them? There they are. Send those guys down there to get some of those seeds. Now, let's see how they handle the Rufa and the Fusca invaders. We will start with 30 of each. At least one of you can go there and grab that one. And then you can all head back here for the fight. Now I'm thinking we might want to bring them all into the... Bring them all down here, really. If we can, but because they're already engaged, oh, this is going to be costly. Okay, come up here first, take care of these. A 
wonderful victory on two fronts. But then we'll bring him down here. Perhaps we should try three colonies this time. Do it, I'm ready. Using 30 of each. Rufa, Fusca, and Raptor ants. Oh. It's 90 at once. There's more ants than we have at any one time. This is going to be chaos. Let's bring the ones up as well, if we can. Well, it's definitely chaos. Look at that. Here are ants hatching all over the place. Our food ticking down quite rapidly. But I think we're okay. Yeah, smashed them. A marvelous victory. Go, go, go. How long they will survive against a sustained flow from all three colonies? Let's see. Let's bring it on, mate. Bring it on. Get back inside, little ones. That's it. A sustained attack. How many is that, I wonder? Just a random sustained attack amount. You are doing well. What's that? Oh, what? What's this? What is this? The giant tiger beetle has joined the fray. Why'd you do that? Madman. Need to turn off the and foraging for these guys. Another. Oh no, three tiger beetles. Well, only two, because we did take one out pretty quickly. And that one's gone as well, nice. Oh, and that one as well, smash them. So the ones, if we turn off their attacking, they'll harvest these for food. Keep our food supplies going whilst we fight. Lovely, look at that, food's ticking right up. Still a sustained invasion coming. Look at them, there's still loads of them. Doesn't look like I can get to the Tiger Beetles. We'll turn on their attacking instead. So they can at least do something if it if they get close enough. It is just non-stop, isn't it? Mate, what are you doing? What are you doing? Good work, my little ants. What's that? What's this? Oh One, my god. Two, three, uh, nine, ten wolf spiders. Ten wolf spiders? There. It doesn't seem fair. Where's that bugger gone? If they start attacking the queen, we're in trouble. Queen is in danger. I know. I should stop the experiment. Because they're attacking up there, they won't. Won't make their way down. Oh, this is not good. At least they're taking care of the big one now. That's something. The queen is in danger. Perhaps I should stop the experiment. Oh, come on. Come on. Surely if the queen gets attacked, you all bugger down there. Come on now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> They've got rid of all the eggs. That's the problem. They got rid of all the eggs. Oh, my God. What happened to the queen? The ants fell victim to the Rufus Formic Acid Spray far too quickly. We should start again with a healthier colony. Very well. Purge the formicarium. It's 
because the spiders destroyed all the eggs, and because the work, the, the, the brood ants, these ones here, they couldn't get the eggs around quick enough. That was the problem. Okay, so we didn't have much of a problem with food. We learned that, didn't we? So, let's make another worker chamber. And we'll add this to the nursery. And let's make another one of these. Don't have enough territory. What the hell are territory points? We've hit our max soldiers anyway. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know that was a thing. Well, we can make a few more, I guess. I never knew that was a thing. But now I suppose if we try and create new workers, they're going to say, no, can't have more workers. Or is it going to go up? Or it's going to go up if I make more? Okay. Well, that's something. Uh, so we may as well, I guess, add that in as well. Hmm. I've definitely cleared all the food away, haven't we? Yes. Yeah, so that leaves us down to 500, which isn't a huge amount. So how are we going to handle this then? I might do that. So our nursery colony is quite big. I might even shall I add one of those as well. No, but what I am thinking is we will bring everyone down here. There's only one entrance, that one there we need to work. It's a shame you can't build walls, because I would love to build a wall there and then maybe open it up through here instead, but I don't think that's an option, is it? Speed up tile, food, no, it's not. And that menu doesn't yet exist. It'd be lovely to build a wall there, because they can have access to our food. I'm not so bothered about that. Okay, let's give this a go again. The colony seems to have made significant progress. Perhaps it is time we began phase two of the trial. Agreed. I will prepare the feeder colonies. Add upgrade points to all neighbouring nursery tiles. That's interesting. That's interesting. Maybe we'll have a bit of a play with that and make this Let's just one big in with a familiar speed up tile or something. Introduce 20 Formica Fusca ants. The Fusca colony is attached and the ants are on their way. I'm going to leave them all downstairs stairs for the moment, just because I want to see where these ants go. And then my headphones are going to beep at me because they're running out of battery, which is wonderfully timed. Now they're ignoring the brood, which is good. So we shouldn't have too much of a problem there. Not at all. I Easy done. Lost their potency. Now let's try the Formica Rufa ants. The Rufa will be more aggressive. Our raptors mm. will need it to had the uh, headset, the microphone stand. Apologies. Twenty Rufa ants. I'm trying to very quietly plug my headphones in. I hear these ones come. So what are they gonna do? Same sort of thing, really. Let's move two and three up so they're actually there. Why are you still, are you not plugged in? Sorry, my headphones are continuing to go off. Seeds have been dropped. Have neutralized the threat to their queen. Where? Good. Continue the experiment as before. 
But don't push the colony too hard. No, that should be ones. Of course not. Two <laughs> stay down here. Irresponsible. Introducing 40 roofer ants. Hurry up, little guys, hurry up. They shouldn't interfere with them too much. No, they're going to just run straight down there. Perfect. Oh, don't try and fight them, though, you idiots. Okay. Let's bring the ones back down here, then. Ah, see, this has kind of messed them up a little bit, hasn't it? Bring them back down here again. Increasing to fifty roofer ants. Well, Lucy, there's one seed left out there, but I think we can live without one seed. want to press them forward but as soon as they start doing that you don't really have that much of an option do you I like this music by the way if any of the devs are watching I don't know if it's actually just one guy based on the comments or the, the YouTube description from their uh, dev channel but I do love this music you should know that grab a little bit of food but we are going to have the tiger beetle soon aren't we now let's see how they handle the rufa and the fusca invaders we will start with 30 of each so let's bring the ones back again i see this is the problem because the ones go out there and they sort of start them off early don't they Yeah, you're dead, mate. You are dead, mate. Let's move him up, then. Down to 200 food. Wonderful victory. Not a huge amount. Perhaps we should try three colonies this time. Introducing 30 of each. Rufa, Fusca, and Raptor ants. Where are they? There they are. A fair few of them. Well, they always choose these, choose like different entrances. Oh, do you want to do that? So we know this is going to be fine. Though our food is getting dangerously low. To the point where it's basically done. Ah, we're in trouble now. We are in trouble now. A marvelous victory. Right, everyone come back. Well, they're right up there in the way. 
You got time for one very quick little forage. Hmm. I wonder how long they will survive against a sustained flow from all three colonies. Let's see. You were the last two. And now I don't want to press them forward now. They're going to stay there because I want to keep them all relatively close to the queen as well. Where possible. So if they take out a worker, they take out a worker. That's that's tough. You are doing well, my intrepid reptiles. But what's this? A giant tiger beetle has joined the fray. I'm going to have to press them up a little bit. Oh, you pains. You pains. And another. And another. Oh, no. Three tiger beetles. As soon as they take out a tiger beetle, we'll turn off their attack. Try and get some of those up there to get some food in. getting new eggs in which is good but we're not getting any food which is the problem oh, they made their way pretty far down didn't they queen is in danger perhaps i should stop the experiment No, see, they can't get there because it's going to get immediate. Oh, the queen's dead. Oh my god. What is going on? Yeah, not enough attackers to. Uh... The ants fell. Look at that. That's crazy. Not enough attackers to uh, fend them off then. With a healthier colony. Very well. So I think what we're going to need to do, we'll have to leave it for next time now. So we're approaching the half hour mark, so I don't want to do too much more. The problem is we can't dig any more. We just need more food. So we'll have to do another mission. We'll pick one of these missions to do again. Probably subjugation, just because we've done that one twice and those are the two second ones. So we'll do subjugation. We'll just get a whole bunch of food. Get it put on the surface. I don't know if we can actually upgrade any more. I suppose we could upgrade one of these, couldn't we? If we could get that and that, that'd be quite nice. Yes, yeah, so we'll get a bunch of food ready on top, and then we'll try doing that again next time. But we tried. We tried a couple of times, and I think what we might do is we might stick the ants up here as well. Maybe have, like, a small force in the nursery section. Just to protect her there, possibly. It's the spiders that are the problem, isn't it? If we just have more workers, I guess, it won't be so bad. If more more attackers, just stop them getting through at all. If we can just bottleneck them in here, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we'd like to have done this a bit differently. Like I say, block that off to stop the spiders getting in there. Ideally, I'd like to block that off and that off and just have the entrances coming from down here. Which wouldn't stop the spiders because they are very quick and they just seem to skip through you. They don't care if you're there, but it would definitely help. So anyway... Gonna leave that there for now. We've got a plan for next time then. Next time we're gonna go and just get a bunch of food, doing a level just to get some food. So the time after that, we can come back and build up a, a bit of a healthy store ready to take them on. And also hopefully upgrade our wood ants and our black ants as well, which would probably help a little bit. Certainly wouldn't hurt. And if we can upgrade those as well, more the better. And in fact, if we could get one of these as well. Yeah, neither of those are that bad, are they? No, they'd all be quite useful. So maybe one of those as well if we have enough royal jelly. We'll see how we go. So there we go. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If a lot of you do seem to be enjoying it, so I'm glad you are enjoying this weird little series. I didn't think it would really uh, 
take off that much. I thought it was just like a little sort of niche game that I'd enjoy a little bit by myself, but you guys do seem to be loving it out there, so as long as you're loving it, I'll keep playing it. If you have enjoyed it, please do click the like button. It really is appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And any questions or comments, as always, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I see them. Don't forget, we stream Wednesdays at 6pm, so I'll hopefully see you there. Say hello, it'll be wonderful to see some of you. Otherwise, I shall see you next time in Empires of the Undergrowth. We'll go have a little final look at our queen before we go. There she is. Aww. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.